Okay, in this video I want to talk to you about um, raising a complex number to a power. So we've already looked at the different types of complex number we can get, for example Cartesian. How might we rate, raise a Cartesian form of complex number to a given power? So what I mean by that is if we had z equals a plus bj and I wanted to know what z to the 4 was, how would I do that? But what I could do, of course, is I could just say, well, that's just a plus bj, a plus bj, like so. I could do this, and it wouldn't be a problem in terms of getting the correct solution, but it might well be a problem in how long it would take me to do it. I guess what I'd have to do is I'd have to expand this pair first get a solution for this and then perhaps take this solution and multiply it by the third bracket and then the fourth bracket. It get very time consuming but it's fine, it's achievable. And maybe if this power here is a small enough number, a two or a three or maybe even a four, fine. What about if it's not? What about if it's a six or a twelve or a ninety-two? Then this becomes very, very unwieldy very, very quickly indeed. So it might be worth having some other way of finding the solution. If we could rewrite it in polar form, that would make it a whole lot easier. Well, I want to talk you through the rule for this. So, if I now have some other value, let's call this z r and then theta, so it's now in polar form, and I want to now find z to the 4, well, I'm much happier with that because I have a nice rule that will talk me through it. So let's mention the general rule. If I have this r theta for my z and I want to find z to the n, so it could be z squared or it could be z to the 4 or any number, any power, then the rule says I will have r to the n and then my new argument or my angle will just be n times theta, so n times the original angle. Well, that's really quick. Let's look at an example. Let's have z equal to, what should we say, 3 and then 10 degrees. So I'm picking nice values, but it holds true for all. If I wanted then to find z to the, well, let's go with z cubed, which would take quite a while in this form. I should be able to say it's just 3 cubed and my new angle will be 3 times 10 degrees. So 3 cubed is going to give me 27, so my answer would be 27 and 30 degrees. So really quick, really straightforward to raise to a power if we're in polar form. Well, I mentioned at the beginning about raising to a power in Cartesian form. And I guess the point I want to make here is that if your power is perhaps even more than 2, so 3, 4, or, or 15, or 50, it might be worth converting Cartesian to polar form because then we can raise it to the power very, very quickly indeed. So perhaps we'll do a very quick example of that. So, again, I'm going to pick a nice example so we can get to polar form quickly. But if I had z equals 1 plus j, and I want to work out what z cubed is, let's say, how would I do that? Well, I've picked a number that's reasonably small, so I could have three sets of brackets, multiply it out carefully, and get my solution that way. But the next time around, that power might be 33. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to polar form. And I know if I convert this to polar form, and you might just want to try this for yourself, then I can get a solution of root 2 and pi over 4 if I put it in radians or 45 degrees. So that's z. So if I now want to find z cubed, all I would do is I would have root 2 to the power of 3, so it's just r to the power of n, and my new argument or my new angle 
would just be n times the original angle. So it would be 3 times pi over 4. I have my solution straight away. Now, depending on what values you get here, it may be a job for the calculator, or you may end up leaving it alone. If you had 7 to the power of 82, you probably wouldn't work that out. You'd probably leave it as 7 to the 82. So if we wanted to tidy this up, this is 2 to the half, so we could rewrite this as something like so, and there we could have 3 pi over 4. I think I'd probably leave it alone there. Okay, thanks for watching.